Hello everybody, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, uh, hailing to you from Boise, Idaho. Uh, so in front of us here we have a Yamaha Bear Tracker 250, and it originally came to us. It was running extremely rough. As a matter of fact, I couldn't really get it to idle for uh, any significant amount of time before it kind of bog out and die out on me. Um, uh, the customer had explained that it was running rough. Uh, the customer had changed out their own stator unit inside of here, okay? And so after they had done that, from what I understand, it kind of even started running worse. But it also started making a clicking noise. Now, I listened to it uh, in front of the customer a little bit. And uh, yesterday we got into it, and I started listening to it. And I changed my mind about it being a clicking noise. And I kind of really felt like after a while that it was a, it was more of a kind of a lash noise, like valve lash or something like that. And there is a, a valve adjustment on this vehicle, and there's also a timing chain as well. So as we started taking things apart and started looking for damage, uh, we found no damage for any clicking noises or anything broken inside of here. But what we did find was that our timing chain wasn't correct. And so we opted to go ahead and remove our timing tensioner. And that's when we found that our timing tensioner is completely extended and it is no longer good. And it's no longer keeping proper tension on the timing chain. So bottom line, it's just, it's time to go ahead and uh, replace the timing chain, replace the upper and lower gears and uh, adjust the valves as well. So from there, we also need to address the it not running correctly. Now, with it being out of time a little bit and it needing a valve adjustment, yeah, that's going to make it a little off, but it shouldn't really be that bad. So the next step that we're going to take is we're going to go ahead and remove the carburetor. And really, you know, uh, if you're in a big shop, I, I, I understand the need to just replace the carburetor or even fully rebuild it. But we don't necessarily have to do all that. These carburetors, 91% alcohol. You can soak them in it overnight and then get, get you a wire brush and a little piece of wire to clean out all the you know jets and all that inside of there. It's just a little tedious job. I, I think it's a lot of fun to do. So, and uh, that, that'll that fix the the improper idle and it wanting to die all the time and whatnot. So, so this vehicle will need a new timing chain and setup, a valve adjustment, and a carburetor clean out in order for us to get it back on the road correctly. All right, everybody. Well, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're on Facebook and YouTube. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.